Hello, welcome. Today we're playing uh uh what's the name of the game? Chime Sharp, I think. Um yeah, I think I think it's called Chime Sharp. Um yeah, I've been at the title screen for so long that I forgot the name of the game. Um anyway, let's go ahead and hit start. I'm using mouse for now. This game does use uh controller support, but I accidentally hit like your one fragile button press away from like exiting the uh the game. It doesn't give you like a confirmation. Um oh by the way, when I first fired up the game, the very first thing it showed you is the thing being like, oh, by the way, just so you know, Google is going to, like, collect all your information. Like, hope that's okay. And it's like, wow, okay, well, I'm pretty sure this game was made back before that was, like, looked down upon. But, like, back then, like, people, like, didn't care as much. And uh, they had two options. They had the option to say opt-in or the option to say okay. So it's like, well, I don't want to opt-in, so I hit okay. And then I checked the options menu. Check this out. Down here, it says opt out of Google Analytics. It says out, but does that mean that I am opted out? Or does that mean that I'm opted out of opting out? See? Oh. See, I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but it's like, dude, you cannot put, you cannot put it past them to do stuff like that. They'll do like the double negative thing on you. It's like when you try to cancel from email lists, and it'll be like, check all the boxes that you don't not want to not unsubscribe from. It's like, well, you son of a bitch. You know goddamn well what you're doing. Uh, anyway, uh, choose a level. Uh, I guess we'll start at the top left one. Music for 18 musicians. Practice standard sharp strike challenge. Well, I mean, I don't know. Practice probably doesn't, like, uh, like uh, create any, like, progress. Let's try standard. Even though I have no idea how to play, uh, maybe we can figure it out. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I saw this, too. I looked at this, like, 100 years ago when I first fired up the game. Yeah, by the way, like, dude, despite having made, like, 2,400 videos, I swear to God, I'm, like, the worst Let's Player in terms of, like, turning a game on and actually, like, starting the video. Like, I'll sit there and I'll just, like, dick around on my phone. I, like, procrastinate, like, starting the video for, like, hours. So, yeah, I, 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 like, forgot that I had seen this. Maybe I should use keyboard. I'm, like, all gun shy now that I, like, I hit the, I hit a wrong button one time and it just, like, yeeted the game. Okay, make solid blocks of 3x3 three three to make quads. Yeah, I thought quad meant 4, but okay. Uh, make or extend quads to cover the grid. More coverage equals more time. Plus increased score. Uh, okay, from this one image, are you supposed to like know what that what the game means? Oh my god! Hold on. Oh Jesus! Hold on. Uh. Okay, I can put pieces down and rotate them. What does that do, though? I'm assuming I'm supposed to, like, fit the pieces together? Am I doing it? That means if I go this way with it... Oops, I... effed it up. Okay, the the thing making the dun, uh, 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 sound is not. Uh, I'm not enjoying that. Oh, I can put blocks down over this again. Okay, well I'm doing like terrible all of a sudden. Well, I'm not entirely sure like what I should be doing. Okay, so I can't put him there. Oh, so when the thing passes over it, I can, like, reuse this now. My god, it's getting worse. The song is very, like, songy.
It's one of those like... It's like 90% like not music. Like there is music, but there's so many other like... The thing just going... Like what is that? Like stop. Huh. Why are the blocks like different colors? And why are these ones flashing? Oh man, boy. Oh yeah, fun game. Is that supposed to be good? I mean, I'm assuming they tried to make the game, like, fun? Was that their attempt at trying to make the game fun? Or did they make it and they're like, Hey, actually this sucks, let's not release this. Oh, but they released it, so I guess they must have thought it was good. And I guess they are wrong. God, what is this? I don't know. I kind of don't like this right away. I've played enough games that there have been, like, plenty of times that I'm just, like, flabbergasted that, like, someone thought it was, like, good. It was one of those, like, situations where, like, they showed it to their friends and family and they didn't want to, like, hurt their feelings. They just wanted to be, like, supportive and be like, oh, no, no, it's great. It's great. It's a fun game. No, you should totally release it. Or do they, like, run into a situation where it's like they have to release it because they already spent, like, a million dollars trying to make it. And, like, well, we have to release something now. Like, we can't, like, scrap it now. Like, we're already in too deep. We have to release our shitty game named Chime... Uh, what's it called? Chime... How do you remember the name of the game? I don't even care. Chime... Chime Sharp. Jeez. This one at least has a little bit more, like, song to it. Why is that piece shaking? What does that mean? Oh my god, why? In all fairness, I can't be mad. When I play these indie games or whatever, I have to be accepting of the fact that there's a good chance that it's gonna suck balls. I mean, this isn't like the worst thing I've ever played, but it's definitely got that like, that like why factor. Like, why did this game need to be created? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna play this for a little while, and then it's gonna get yeeted off of my uh, Steam thing or whatever. This is one of those games. Hold on, I gotta turn the fucking volume down. The volume is so GD loud. And I'm, I feel like I'm like shouting. I have to like shout to like talk over the music in my ear. So yeah, if I've probably been shouting for the last like nine minutes or whatever. Oh man. Next stage. Thank you. Get me off of that one. Oh, at least we got uh, different uh, shapes or whatever. Oh, we got a whole stage of only this shape? Oh, okay. Just coincidentally, we had four in a row of the same one. Oh, so if you can build it up just a little bit, it continues your cambo. Oh, and it's... Oh, okay. I thought it continued because it was touching the other one, but I just created another one. Oh, man. I don't know. Are there people that like this kind of game? It's just, like, not, like, fun. 
Like, where's the fun? I'm not, like, having fun doing this. Like, it's a game that I'm playing that exists. And I know everyone has, like, different definitions of what they think of as fun, but... I would need to have this one explained to me, because I don't get it. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I try to be fair, but, like... Yeah, I don't know. And again, I mean, there's there's games that I like that other people don't like. I like Dungeon Magic on NES, but that game is, like, super primitive. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to, like, play. Because you're always, like, navigating. You have, to you have to hit start to pause the game to, like, switch over to, like, your, uh, your food or your, uh, or your, like, magic or whatever. And then you have to pause the game and then move the cursor back over to fight in order to, like, swing your sword again. So you're always pressing start and there's like a there's like a flashing like status indicator that tells you if if the game is paused or not. So you always have to keep an eye on that. Because sometimes like like the game you might think the game is paused and it's actually not and then you can get like attacked without being like ready. Oh look at that a double. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, I like that game, and I like uh, I like Spin Dizzy Worlds. Oh, we're gonna play that at some point on the channel. But I reckon that someone who's never played that game would probably not like that game. They'd be having the same opinion about that game as I have about this game. They're just like, it's a game that exists, but where's the fun? There's no fun in this game. But I don't know. I think Spin Dizzy Worlds is fun. Uh, okay. Well, I think the problem. Oh, how come I can't go to the next level? I have to go to level select? Oh, it's all the levels in this one, I guess. So this is just like a high score thing, I guess. Oh, and then I think... The pieces close to the bottom of the screen or whatever, those show the pieces that are, like, available that, you're, that you get to use. That is kind of cool. So this one has a lot of the same... Oh, wait, this one doesn't have the uh, the square with the one nub on it. How come I have, uh, played the level that had it? But it's not on this one. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, maybe that's not the case, then. But uh, I think the issue that's making this not be super fun is that it feels like there's no, like, stakes. There's no, like, falling pieces where it's like, oh, try to not have the pieces reach the top. There's no, like, impending thing that happens if I don't, like, do well enough. It's just, like, it's just an arcade game. It's just, like, a high score game. Oh, which is fine, but... But, like, some stakes would, like, make it, like, more interesting, you know? I don't know. There are some games that are, like... That are, like, arcade games, but, like, that you still, like, beat, like, levels. It still feels like... It still feels like you're, like, making progress or whatever. I mean, I like Balloon Fight. I mean, that's, like, an arcade-style game, but it's, like, well, you, like, beat levels. Like, you have things, like, trying to kill you. But there's like, there's no like danger or threats. You don't even have the threat of the pieces like building up too high or anything. So I wonder if there, if there is a way. Oh. You can undo your mistakes if you put a hole, if you put a thing next to it, then when it clears, then you can fix the mistake. That's kind of cool. I've probably been doing it, but I haven't been paying that much attention. I've just been like bitching and just kind of putting pieces down without 
like paying too much attention to like what's happening. Okay, this set this is at least a decent song. Dude, what was up with the song on that first level? The song on the first level was so bad that I bet you there, there was at least a few people that played the first level and the song sucked so bad they just like stopped playing the game. Like you want your first, you want the first song on the first level of your game to like be good, you know? I don't know why I put that one there. Well, for some reason I thought you couldn't put it on the blue, but it's like, oh wait, you can't put it on the light blue. But there's a lot of these kind of pieces. Um. Ooh, ooh. Oh, look at that. Nice. I don't know. You just play till you run out of time. You're just trying to get a high percentage of coverage, which is 33% in this case. Oh, you know what? I think I think I know what you when it says percent coverage, when you get coverage, then you're oh my god, I just realized my mouse was, has been on the screen the whole time. You're trying to get like coverage of that. So then like you don't have to like you you should try to not put things there anymore. Because once you have coverage, you can't get coverage, like, again. You're trying to get the most of the, uh... You want to get the most squares of the, of, in this case, like, the light blue or whatever. That's what counts as your coverage. So you want to, like, go around the entire thing or whatever. Like, you, you want to try to not build on the same places. You might have to, to, uh, fix mistakes. Oh man, this is a weird combination of like pieces. Uh Dude, this thing in the middle is a dick move. <laughs> oh my god, I can't put I like I can't, I'm like I'm struggle busting on this one. Like, nothing, like, fits properly. Oh. oh, come on. I thought that was gonna... There we go. Let's see if I can dig my way over to the right to try to fix that. That's so tempting to stick that there. Oh, goddamn. What am I supposed to do with this freaking piece? I can put it in any of the blank spaces, I suppose. Oh, wow. Yeah, this, like, L piece with the super long... The super long Elledge or whatever is really messing with Mustees. We are not going to work our way to the right like I had originally thought. Oh man. Uh, well. If you run out of time, do these thingies still count? If the thing doesn't uh, turn them into blue blocks, I wonder? Oh, I got a little bit more time. Okay. Ooh, nice. That was a good move. Alright, whatever. Oh, God damn it! I gotta admit, I got a little invested on that one. Little coverage, 33%. Okay. 
Next level. Okay, well, now that I understand, like, what the porpoise is, there at least is, like, a goal. We got the super long lines. Yeah, are we gonna not have anything that's three things long? Oh, nice, I go right here. Oh, God damn it. Am I screwed on this one? I don't think I've seen a piece that can go there. We don't have the uh, the little, like, uh, M-shaped uh, things or the C-shaped things. Oh, we don't have the T ones anymore either. You know, it is kind of interesting that you have to, like, adjust your tactics on... Uh, on each level, because the pieces are different. Oh, look at that. Nice. And I can put one there. Nice. Oh, that was a good move, too. I wasn't sure if I should put that one where I put it or like one spot below or whatever. There, now if I get a line. And put it on the bottom. Oh, come on, where's the line, son? Ooh, ooh. Oh, I thought that was going to make a thing. Come on, can a ninja get a line? Oh, there we go. Oh, that doesn't count, because I, like, all of these got deleted already. Oh, god dang. Okay, hold on. I gotta... I was going about it, like, wrong this whole time. Yeah, I should have not been paying attention to that. Oh, look at that. Is that more than 33%? Oh, look at that. 39. Nice. Oh, man. I actually got invested on that one. I, you, you notice I, like, kind of went quiet for a while? <laughs> okay, so I, um... Okay, level select. Oh, God damn it. I didn't think I was going to play this. I'm getting a little bit invested. Let's do one more. Should I do the sword one, or should I do the science and visions one? I don't know. The word science is kind of like ruined forever, probably now. Uh, work of our hands? I don't know. Let's just do this one. Wait, why does it say coverage 29%? Is that like a requirement? This one says 33. Oh, is that the rec oh, that's the requirement, I think. It has to be, right? Okay, I don't know. Let's just do this one. Did it say it on the other ones? Hold up. Maybe it did. I don't know. I just noticed it just now. All right, whatever. Let's just do this one. Okay, so because I got more invested than I thought I would... Let's do, like, one more.
I'm not entirely sure what all pieces I'm going to have. Oh man, okay. Oh, what do the yellow pieces mean? We got a big line. Do I need a big line for anything? Man. I should have turned the volume down, like, sooner. I can feel that I'm, like, gonna start, like, losing my voice, like, pretty soon. I'm, like, getting over being sick. So I'm still at that point where it's, like, my voice, like, could go, potentially. So all that like talking like super loud for like no reason like didn't help. Plus I'm probably gonna do like other recordings after this one. Oh, I don't know. Once I get into like record mode, then I can like record like multiple like videos or whatever. But like just like getting like started, like initially, is like what's super hard for me. I wonder why that is. There's got to be like some like psychological reason why I have this like huge massive like, mental block from, like, starting. Yeah, I remember when I was new uh, new at Let's Playing, or new to Let's Playing or whatever. I had been recording for a few months, and then I made, um, oh, excuse me, in one of the videos, I was like, I was like, yeah, I remember when I was, like, brand new to Let's Playing, like, I would sit there, and I would be, like, nervous to hit the record button, just because I was always nervous about like, like I was worried about like, what I was always like, what's gonna be like the first thing I say? I was always nervous about like, how do I like start the conversation or start the commentary rather? I was like, every time I like, once I like start the commentary, I'm like totally fine. But just like getting it started, but just like to, to like start talking, just to like get the ball rolling was like hard for a while. And then the way I solved that issue is um, eventually I had a handful of videos under my belt and I got to the point where I was like, okay, well, like I'm sitting here with the mouse pointer like hovering over the record button and I can't like bring myself to push it, but it's like, well, eventually I'm just gonna hit the record button and I'm just gonna start talking and everything's gonna be fine because that's what's happened the last like 50 videos I made. So it's gonna be fine this time too. So that's how I got over uh, being like hesitant to, uh, to uh, what do you call it? Start recording or whatever. So in terms of like commentary, that, that was like the only thing that I like struggled with versus like other Let's Players. They're like, oh, how do I come up with stuff to talk about? Or like, oh, I'm always, I'm nervous about recording myself or like, oh, I always feel like I'm like, what I say is like not good enough or whatever. Like I never had any of that. The only issue I had was the, was the thing where I was like, what's the first thing I say when I start? That's part of the reason why, I mean, I don't know, like some people get like, get like fancy with it but it's like my intros are always like pretty vanilla i'm always just like hi welcome back to the next episode of this game last episode we did this thing and now in this episode we're gonna do this thing and then there you go that there you go you started <laughs> i feel like this combination of pieces is like really easy to work with Anytime you have, like, one nub, you can, like, fix it with this thing. You can, like, go over it. Oh, I should go over and try to recover this situation. Uh, okay, well, now I don't have a place for it. After I just got done saying it. Oh, wait, I can put it here. Do we have a... Do we have a three? Do we have a thing that goes three deep? Oh, I do, but I just effed it up on the last piece. God damn it.
Uh, I mean, this game's like kind of fun once I got like got into it, but I couldn't imagine playing it like excessively. Like once I'm done with this video, I'm like not gonna play this anymore. I mean, it's okay, and, I, and yes, I did get invested somewhat, but this isn't like Picross levels of investment. Where now I want to play it like on my own time, you know? Dude, by the way, um, there was a Let's Player that um, I watched play Picross for the, like the very first time, where he was like learning how to play it. And freaking, uh, like, I don't know, like, two years later or whatever, uh, he's on my friends list on Steam or whatever, and you can look at how long people have been, like, playing or whatever, like, different games. And this freaking dude has played, like, hundreds of hours of, uh, what's it called, Picross Touch or something like that. So not only did he end up liking it or whatever, he ended up playing it for, like, hundreds of hours, like, on his own time. And I was there to, like, watch him play for, like, the very, very first time. So I thought that was kind of cool. I didn't know that, I, that it was going to be, like, a moment in history in this guy's life. Where he found, like, this new thing that he loves. Oh, look at that. I used the back end of the, uh, of the nub grabber thing. So I'm pretty sure that you have to get more additional coverage for the thing to give you more time. You can't like reuse tiles that you already got or whatever. Like that doesn't count towards the uh, the coverage. Otherwise, you can just play forever. Oh wait, I don't have. How come I, there's nothing over here? Did I build over on the right side? Oh wait, I can go like this. Oh wait, but I'd still have to make another one just to get that little bit. Okay, that was kind of like not worth it. Oh, look at that, nice. What is up with this song, by the way? It sounds like Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Uh, a song from Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Dude, look at that, I fucking crushed it, man. I killed it. 65%? I mean, I don't know, maybe that's not good. But it's really freaking good for me, so I'm happy with it. Okay. We'll go until we get back to the, uh, what do you call it? Other menu or whatever. So this might be the last one. Yeah, I do kind of like these these like diagonal W blocks. You get some interesting opportunities to like use them. I feel so bad wasting a line. You know, a lot of these songs have been like better. Yeah, I don't know why the the very first song on the first stage was such garbage. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Bam. Uh, I can put that one there, and if I get another one, I can stick it in there. Oh, that'll be dope. Um, 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 uh, uh, I guess we have tons of places to just stick random pieces. I need, I need a W, man. I mean, it does show the next couple pieces at the top. But it's like, I ain't got time to look all the way to the top of the screen.
I guess we should probably go for the, uh, the big open spaces first. Big open spaces. Big open spaces. Um, you should go for those first and then come back for, like, these stragglers. Like, later if you run out of room, I guess. Or if you run out of blocks to... If you run out of, like, big chunks of blocks or whatever. Oh, dang, did I F that up? Oh, uh, that'll get fixed. Okay, be good. Dude, I have not... Okay, it's coming up. Jesus. Let's say it's been like a hundred pieces since we got a freaking W piece. Here we go. Oh, now we get two... Like, quickly back-to-back -back or whatever. Or two within a short time. Um... Go like that. Okay. If you uh, press the button and you can't put a piece down, there doesn't seem to be any penalty, I don't think. I'm assuming it doesn't give you a time penalty. That'd be a, like a dick move. But it just doesn't let you put it down, which is nice. It's not like uh, like Tetrisphere, where like an incorrect drop is like penalized. Look at that. Oh, nice. I used the back end of the zigzag. Did you see that? Um. Oh, god dang. Oh, I don't know. It feels like I did better than I actually did. It was only 53%. Like, the area on, like, on, like, the, the top third in the middle, I thought I cleared out, like, tons of shit there, but apparently not. Okay, well, since I'm never going to play this again, we might as well go until I get kicked back to the... Oh, no! God damn it! I can already tell I'm not going to like... I know right away that I'm not going to like those pieces. Oh, no. Are we going to have, like, L pieces that, like, face the other way? But uh, as I was saying, since I'm never going to play this again, let's go ahead and just play until I get uh, kicked back to the the menu or whatever. My god. I guess just put stuff down, I guess. I don't know. Oh, wow. I can't, like, flip it the other way. Okay, I feel like I got lucky with a bunch of the pieces right there. Do you see that? Uh, okay, if I put that there, I'll never recover. What the hell can I do with that? Oh. There's not really, like, a good thing to do with them to, like, get them out of the way. Oh, there we go. Oops. Oh, my God. I meant to rotate, not put it down. In all fairness, I think that's like the first accidental drop I've done. And it is out in the open, so I can still build around it. But it's still not great that I did that. It still effed me up somewhat. That is not a bad song. Um. There 
we go. Yeah, those weird Z pieces are not super helpful. Oh man, look at that. Did you see that? Like 69 the W pieces into each other. Oops. Well, I hit the button at the, at the, uh, I did an accidental drop at the very last second, but whatever. Oh my god, only 30%? Oh, it's doing, it's saying restart because I'm like not doing well enough sometimes. Dude. All right, whatever. I've been playing for like 40 minutes. That's good enough. I think you got the point or you get the point or whatever. Um, okay, so that's, uh, that's this game. How well was I supposed to have been doing? Which level was I, which level was I on? Oh, is each song a level? For some reason, I thought that there was multiple um, levels in each of these. But that's because I was failing. And then only when I succeeded, it kicked me back. Oh, god dang it. But only the top row was unlocked. So how did, how did this one get unlocked if I didn't beat this one? Maybe I did beat this one. Yeah, this is the one I... The one I got 53 on. So it's been advancing me, like, automatically without me realizing it, I think. I think, right? I don't know. Um, okay, so, uh, so yeah, so I got C-blocked on this level. I mean, I could probably practice and get, like, better, but, I mean, I don't know. I thought I did okay, but, well, part of the problem is that when you create an area that's, like, effed up, you have to try to, like, build along the outer edge of the effed up area to clear it to work your way back on... Or back into the uh, the effed up spot or whatever to like fix your mistake. Um, but if you're trying to get the most coverage, you're almost better off um, like not doing that because then you have like if you f up one area, you're almost better off going to a whole new fresh area that's not effed up and trying to like build from there or trying to uh, get coverage from there. Um, so I guess you would only want to try and fix your mistake, uh, fix your mistakes or whatever, fix the effed up areas if you um if you like run if you start running out of room where you have or start running out of open spaces but then by that point like you're probably not going to have like very much time to go back anyway so um but i guess maybe if you're good at the game maybe you can so um so yeah so so i guess i got good enough at the game to at least like recognize like the strategy but uh yeah not good enough to implement it fully i guess but i mean it's only my first time playing it so i mean you can't expect a whole lot you know right um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I am glad that I ended up enjoying this more than I thought. Uh, there have been times where I'm just like, oh my god, I hate this game, but I'm, like, recording it for a video, so I can't just yeet it after, like, two minutes or whatever. But, uh, like I said, I did actually kind of end up enjoying it, um, for the time that I played it, but I did not enjoy it enough to keep playing it, so, um, so this is gonna be one of the games that, that I install, play for the video, uninstall and then hide it and then that reduces my uh number of games on my steam backlog or whatever by one and then that feels like progress because my steam backlog is absolutely effing ridiculous and um so every time that i get rid of a game it's like a tiny bit of progress so hopefully i'll get done with my steam catalog before i die um but anyway that's going to conclude this video thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you're not already and hit the like button before you leave and i will see y'all in the next video have a great day bye